Let's talk about the energy transference between you and narcissistically abusive people. This gets into the territory of looking at narcissistic people as energy vampires. The concept of them removing your good energy, stealing it from you like identity theft. Not only that, but also biting you with their negativity, with their cruelty. And as they bite you, you start to become them. It's almost like you feel like you're becoming the monster and they're becoming you, like trading places. A lot of times people can over-spiritualize this stuff. It can seem like their demons have jumped into you and vice versa, your angels have jumped into them. Like you're trading places. I assure you that it's not that mystical. There's actually a simplified explanation as to what's taking place as you're dealing with toxic, narcissistic people in your life. This could be your family. It could be people you work with. It could be your spouse. There's a reason as to why it seems they are becoming more like you and you are becoming more like them as you engage. We're going to uncover this together. My name is Kevin and this is The Royal We. Now, before I do continue with this very important message about the energy transference between you and narcissistic people, I want to let you know that I'm here to support you. Down in the description box below this video, you'll find access for one-on-one -on -one appointments with me. I do take telephone calls as well as video calls through Zoom, FaceTime, and WhatsApp. So if you're dealing with narcissistic people in your life and it feels like you're losing yourself to them, like you've been bitten by some vicious vampire narcissistic monster and you're becoming them while they're becoming you, head on down there, schedule some time with me. I'll work with you through this to help you to understand that you haven't lost anything and know you're not becoming them and know they're definitely not becoming you. Also, I do have a coaching program. Now, my coaching program is live and in person each and every day. I work with you on a daily basis. And by the way, I am bringing back Royal We Fellowship exclusively to the Royal We Coaching Program. So if you have an interest in seeing what the biblical understanding of narcissism is in this world, then consider joining the Roby Coaching Program because every Tuesday night we're going to dive in. And I assure you, it's going to be unlike any biblical study that you can get with modern Western world churchianity where they do not touch the topic of narcissism. Not like this. The Bible has a lot to say and we're going to look at it together. So join for that. Also, for those of you who are interested in becoming coaches yourself, every Thursday, I'm offering a class that helps you to become a coach. I'm giving you a background look into what it takes to coach others. So consider joining the Roby Coaching Program. A lot of good things are coming up in the future. Now let's get into this topic. Now, when I was dealing with the narcissistically abusive in-laws, one of the first things I recognized is that in my engagement with them, I was being demeaned and devalued and cussed at and called names. I was being belittled and I was made out to be this horrible person over a period of years because this is how these people operate. It's a slow drip. And in that process, I also noticed that they started displaying some of my characteristics. There's one person in particular started using the words that I would use, started smiling at the things I would smile at. It was so weird to me that I made a video about this early on in my coaching career and I called it identity theft because it was the only thing that I knew how to describe it. It's like this person was stealing my identity, becoming a weird twisted version of me while at the same time attacking me as though they wanted to get me out. It's kind of like with narcissistic people, they take on this attitude of this town ain't big enough for the two of us. I'm going to become you, which means you got to go. All right. Excuse me, I had to relight my cigar. Now, I didn't quite understand what was taking place. And I bought into it in my own personal experience. I bought into it for a period of time. And it hurt. I realized and I thought, oh my goodness, these people are becoming a version of me. And they're making me this bad version. Okay. But it's not real. Those people never became me. And I never became them. Their demons did not jump into me and my angels did not go into them. It doesn't work like that. It's not that mystical. There's no mysticism behind it. 
How many of you watched the video that I produced last week about healing from narcissistic abuse? And I was out on my motorcycle and I made the reference that the problem with therapy and counseling is that it's focused too much on subtraction. We're going to pull out the negativity in your life. We're going to reach that inner child of yours that's been hurt. We're going to pull out the blockages. We're going to pull out. I made the point saying it's impossible. It's kind of like AA, Alcoholics Anonymous, and different treatments for various addictions out there. The problem with these programs is they just want to pull out the problems, but you cannot. You can push out problems, but you cannot pull out problems. Why? Because we are not creatures of subtraction. We are creatures of addition. Nothing has been taken from you by the narcissistic people. Your character, who you are, your energy is still intact. Everywhere you go, there you are. All right? Here's what's taken place. We are not creatures of subtraction. We are creatures of addition. Narcissistically abusive people are, in fact, great examples of this. They are mean, nasty, cruel people. Maybe because that's what they grew up with. Maybe just because they're evil people by birth. I, that's not the point of this message. But one thing's for certain with narcissistic people is they do not have a foundational self, which allows them to morph into wherever they are. Whatever circle they want to fit in, they become that. So when they are with you and when they were with you and things seemed good, they were taking some of your qualities as they do in all relationships and starting to morph into that. They were using these things because we are creatures of addition. It does not mean they are not still the cruel, mean, narcissistic person. It just means that they are also now learning about you, learning about what makes you laugh, learning about the way in which you talk, learning about your faith, learning about all these things. And they are now using some of that. Now then, watch this. The same is true with you. You are also a creature of addition, not subtraction. The narcissistic person did not subtract from you your goodness, your love, your kindness, your patience, any of that stuff. That is still inside of you. It's still who you are. But over your experience and over the time you've spent dealing with the narcissistic people in your life, here's what happened. Through their demeaning, devaluing nature, it started to add something to your life. Mm. What did it add? It suddenly added this awareness in your life that you need to be a little harsh, that you need to bite back. That you need, in addition to being a loving, patient, and kind person, you also need to tell somebody where to go. Go pound sand. Get the hell out of my face, dude. Don't bring your negativity around me. Now, what's wild about this is in the beginning stages, when you're having this part added to you, it's like it's an unlocked door in you. Because for the longest time, you didn't feel you had permission to say things harsh back. You didn't think you had permission to straight up turn your back on people to leave. And so in the beginning, when you're dealing with these narcissistic people who are showing you that that's who they are, you're wrestling with it because that's not something you've operated out of. But they leave you no choice. So you have to start doing these things. You have to experience being the one turning your back. You have to be the one now that says, shut up and stop talking to me like that. You have to be the one. And so since you're watching the narcissistic people do that, you're now aware that you need to start to add this ability into your life. So you see, they didn't take away who you are. The narcissistic person, and I'm not saying this to say narcissists are great because they're not, but they've added into your life this bit that you were missing, that it's okay to stand up for yourself. It's okay to leave. Since we don't operate like that, you probably never have. It's uncomfortable. That's why you feel like you're no longer yourself. A lot of times, you've heard it said, people don't like change, right? We don't like it when we're transforming. But this transformation that's taking place in your life is necessary. There's nothing wrong with being the loving, patient, good person that you've always been. But there's also nothing wrong with that door that's been unlocked where now 
if it's unsafe for you, you're going to say something. So you see, they didn't trade places with you. As a result of the conflict, you've had things added into your life, as have they. It's a mutual exchange. They've had added into their life your loving good nature and qualities, which allowed them to repeat words that you've said, mirror and mimic you and copy you, which in a way, it should be flattering. Wow, they want to be like me. So you have, in fact, added that aspect into their life while they have added something into yours. Because again, we are creatures of addition, not subtraction. Listen, I understand that this video can be difficult and harsh to understand. My hope is that you walk away from this message realizing that you are not a changed person, so to speak. You have not lost who you are. You've simply had something else added to you. Because you are a person of addition, you've had this other element, the ability to stand up, the ability to say no, the ability to be harsh when you need to, to be confrontational when you need to. This has now been added into your life. Does this make sense? So you don't have to worry about their demons being in you or you trading places or any of this nonsense. Look at it as an element added to your life. And as you grow and continue to move forward, you'll learn how to properly balance what's been added into your life. As I said before, I'm here to support you down in the description box. You'll find access for one-on-one -on -one appointments with me. I take telephone calls as well as video calls through Zoom, FaceTime, and WhatsApp. So if you're struggling with this right now because you feel like you've completely lost yourself, I promise you, you haven't. Schedule some time with me. Let's talk about it. All right. Consider joining the World Week Coaching Program for fellowship as well as healing from narcissistic abuse as well as learning how to become a coach yourself. And I'll be back with more videos for you right here on the Royal We. If you're brand new to the Royal We channel, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, hit the bell notification because otherwise YouTube may not give you my most recent uploads. All right. Now, before you leave, check out one of these videos offered up to you by the YouTube algorithm because it knows what you've been watching. And I'll be back right here on the Royal Way.